Today's reading is Balfamet, an entry from the Monster Encyclopedia book series. Dark beasts possessing tremendous power that lurk in demon realms. Their outward appearance is that of a little girl, but of all monsters they possess the most physical power. They are the race that serves as the leaders of the pagan cult known as Sabbath, commanding a countless number of witches. Also it is said that one of them is the supreme leader of the demon lord's army, and they are feared by humans and monsters alike. The Sabbath they led has the following creeds, no to the pravity and charm of little girls, CONCERN, and give in to the pleasure like a monster. In order to spread the doctrine and increase the number of adherents, they tempt women with the promises of great magical power and eternal youth which is to be taken literally. If seduced by such temptations, a woman's body will then be thoroughly inculcated in devilish pleasure at the hand of her and the witches by being greatly, by being granted a portion of the Balfamet's mana, probably a rather small portion. They are then changed into a witch, yet another servant of Balfamet. Other races of monsters who join the cult have their bodies changed into those of little girls, through the Balthamet's power as well, and after that, they never grow any older. Also, periodically, their subordinates, the witches and the men who are their familiars, again, there's a creature called a familiar, have a gathering called Black Mass, reference witch page, where they have a feast of pleasure to reconfirm Sabbath doctrine. Most of them live in demon realms, so they are hardly ever seen in human realms, but on rare occasions they have also been seen at places outside of demon realms. If you are to ever meet one of them, never assume that you can actually defeat her. With a average abilities, no one can be hopelessly outmatched. One would be hopelessly outmatched. Any attack would simply backfire. It would only lead to being violated and then getting baptized by Sabbath. Their bodies are tiny like those of children, and according as according to the doctrine of Sabbath, but they're packed full of the childish charm they espouse. With their bodies and technique, they're capable of pleasing men even more than a succubus can. They are especially known for having the most amazing vagina of all monsters. Hmm, that might be contested. Once a man has joined with one of them, the strong sucking and tight squeezing will make him feel like his own body has become one with hers, and he'll sink into the sensation of having everything sucked out by her. Those who have had sex with them, even just a little, whatever that means, are physically indoctrinated into the depravity and charm of immature little girls. I hear Epstein's part of this cult. And their bodies and hearts are remade so that they can only lust for immature little girls. Yeah, Epstein's definitely part of this cult. Because they also seek superior men as their husbands in the same way as other higher-ranked monsters, most men they catch will be released, but many of the men assaulted by them actually come to adore the Balthamets and will run off someplace with her and the witches and simply disappear. In most cases, Balthamets will only accept a man as her husband who has enough physical power to actually, or just power in general, to actually defeat her, which is a tall order in and of itself. It is said that they will seek an ideally strong and gentle big brother who is reliable and will shower them with love and attention. But the truth on this matter is rather unclear.